I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, I guess it's Cher and Cher Mike, love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the collective hydroponic farm growing potatoes, or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor, as my wonderful wife thinks. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, that's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I mean, how is that fair? I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite. Um, you know, what? I need your bike. Hello, you all. I'm your host, Christy McIntyre. Let's go to the phones. Hi, Christy. My wife and I love your show. It really helps. Aw, oh, thanks. Do you want to tell us about it? I uh, know. Okay. Jenny, I'm live from Santa Maria. Hi, Jenny. How's your heart? Broken. Like my arm and two of my ribs. What happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. But he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny. Mary, I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Las Venturas. Hey, dude, my name's Brian. I'm calling from Las Venturas. Don't want to talk about these hearts. Why do men just repeat back what you... For a second there, possibly ruining my career. Would it help if I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude, though. She wouldn't even notice with me. I get away with it all the time, though. Even after I did it with your sister. Actually, our relationship is better than ever. I mean, the passion is amazing. It's worth a good person each time. If she was back to the way she was before the accident, wow, I put her in a coma myself. It's fantastic. That's very informative. You know, last night, I Hard command, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless he makes you a widow. Hello? Yeah, hello, Lonely Hunts. Uh, I was just calling up there because I was listening and I figured out, you know, that I could help out some of y'all clients. You know, this is none other than Jizzy, the writer of the Pleasure Dawn's Club. If anybody is out there lonely, first of all, with all the people on this planet walking around, there's no reason for anybody to be lonely. You understand? What? That's why I'm in the business of keeping people with company. You know what I'm saying? People who got low self-esteem, they need to pick me up. They need to come down to the Pleasure Dome, hang out with me, Jizzy, and my girls. You know what I'm saying? They gonna keep you company, have you feeling good. And this goes for everybody. I don't care who you are, how old you are. So come on down and hang out with me if you're lonely. And I'm gonna tell you something. You won't be lonely from the moment you walk in the door. But somebody's gonna grab your hand, and it's gonna be all about to get down from there. Good grief! That's not the way Lonely Hearts works at all! Uh. I'm a stalker. Oh, that's really beautiful. Tell everyone about it. My man, well, I call him that, even though he's broken off all contact and is married to someone else. I killed the gazelle and sent his heart to him in an envelope. He liked it so much, he told the police, 
and even the newspapers. Then I burned down his place of business, and now I have a special surprise for him. Oh, you have a great week. Isn't that really beautiful? That's all we have time for. If your heart is lonely, listen to other losers, and you won't be lonely anymore. You'll want to spend the rest of your life in isolation, away from people, which is progress after all. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed Lonely Hearts. It's always fun to laugh at other people's misery, isn't it? Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia, despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up... Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park, unless they take up mine. And finally, in foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right-wing guerrillas, causing a major incident. But we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. The State Department is advising against foreign travel. This was Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Let's be careful out there. Having a child was the most miraculous thing I've ever experienced. When Ken and I left the hospital, I was glowing. But after a few months, the novelty wore off. The screaming, the diapers, blah. Let's face it. We're at our wit's end. I'm miserable. Raising children has cut into my life of doing chalk, taking exercise classes, and sleeping with my husband's friends. What do I do? You need a nanny! All parents need a helping hand now and then, sometimes full-time. At Hampshire Nannies Limited, all of our nannies were trained by professionals. In England, your little darlings are our priority. If they act up, they'll be punished properly. None of this time out or go sit in the corner business. We'll bring your children up in the classic English manner by making them learn Latin and be... For your children's future. Call Hampshire hey, Nannies today. Say it with me. I need a nanny. I'll bang the nanny. That's right, you need a nanny. Hampshire nannies. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's... Dude, I've always been a fucking killing. every 12 years is eight foot high and smells like hell. I want to plant one on my ex wife lawn. It's called a morphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. A morphophallus titanium. The sound of it gives me a redwood in my khaki. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's a morphophallus titanium, the rare botanical wonder. See his eight-foot protrusion as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it think so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. 
You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it! Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I'll, I will try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Marie. Oh, I'm here to help, Sailor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. The news, and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying. A lady on fire. Bodies everywhere. And explosions. She is hanging from the trees. This accident is really cool. WCTR. San Andreas just can't get enough of the Glory Hole theme park. Glory Hole. Wrestling just become friends. exotic places and forbidden fruit. Stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Support for The Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages you to get out and play hard. Hello, I'm James Batiston, World Traveler, and this is The Wild Traveler. We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bathroom when you can attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste of wonderful German's wurst? The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. gladiator clothing, if he likes. We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in. Become part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Freud was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first caller. Hello? Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. Also, I was thinking of visiting Colombia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Colombia. It's a blizzard of excitement. And cheap? The rails are great and long. <laughs> Bolivia's not bad either. Or Peru. You'll be surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl. Unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids go a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is. Well, I love to slum about in a dirty new hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the war came down, but even there, the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is? South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the contents of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain Forest, and Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. 
I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, Ramos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep. Honor! Get the kill for you. Sorry, got lost for a second. Speak. Talking about you, I used to have posters in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. The great time. But that show you did last week, what's the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find inner peace. Awesome, I can't wait. Thanks, man. Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers and their databases, the police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some... Stop ruining it! Next us Hey, as the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can miss I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal. Paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to taking a picture. But a few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it... People holding a valid pilot's license may enter. There he is! I'm at ah! Ah! Committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. An ancient pastime just like cyber optic. Mom, look, I'm playing with myself! Exodio! Handheld gaming action is heat. Take your newfound addiction everywhere. The three color screen is just. Destruction. Sin. Squirt. Market ball. Mortal sin. And tonsil heart. But be careful, you might go blind. Oh, I'm out of batteries in my army. Exorbio. Or link up your exorbios for private sword fight battles. I wonder if Dad still does it. Exorbio, let the games commence. Exorbio. Up next on WCTR, it's the man coaches hate. It's Derek Thackeray in the tight end zone. Brought to you by Eris Pump Up Shoes. Because women love a winner, and winners wear shoes. Should we uh, start with the national anthem? Uh, yeah, yeah. Screw it, yeah, I got, I got two. Just uh, play the opening. One, two, Welcome back to the... Okay, 
of the wolves. That's team playing sports as if they cared. Yeah, the wolves! I don't care who's sleeping with who on the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Okay. Hey, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller. You're on with the tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been. Sliding down an icy tunnel of doom at high speed makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I know about frigid action myself. I mean, they gotta be kidding me. Since when has running been an Olympic sport? Running ain't a sport. Don't make me puke. Anyone can run. My ex-wife made me an athlete. I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night. Anyway, look, who's on the line? We got a Caledonian fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary plan. I love the Callies, man, but you know, this year, I'm telling you, they're going to need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they got to start playing to win. Truck. You want to be number one, you got to go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, dude. Guys, we're getting... Just got checked. Hurt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they were going to play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights in this sport, dude. I love your show, man. I, I love you. <coughs> yeah, yeah, great talking to you. In front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up. You know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that... I'm a big fight fan, love a bit of a punch up. Since my wife and children are taking into a shelter, my friend says, Chuck, you obviously love a hit thing. So I've gotten into boxing. How about that fight between Gonzalez and Jack? Well, there's one thing about boxing I always remember. You know, one man wins, the other goes home and loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, Derek Zachary, don't shit on no one. But, uh, I do like on my seat and uh, at my seat too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. <laughs> the five games, that ain't read, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, for a number of years, getting his brain turned to pulp. Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to hit the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the tight end zone. <laughs> and this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. At home, at work, or in rehab, listen.